Okay, is the point 0.34 on this line right here? So we have this equation of a line. This is y equals 4x plus 10. And we call this technically in algebra a linear equation. It's the equation of a line. So you could graph this line, okay? And here we have a point. And this point, of course, you could plot. And the question is, is this point here, 3, 4, on this line? How can we determine this? How can we figure this out? Well, that's the topic of this video. Uh, if you know how to figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. But give me something more than a yes or a no, like justify you know, how you would answer this. Okay. All right, so this is uh, definitely absolutely uh, basic algebra skills that we're talking about here. Uh, if you're like, oh, this is nothing that I need to know. Well, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you absolutely need to understand the concepts here. All right, so let's get into this here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for a long time, several decades, and I'm telling you right now, uh, if you are failing in math, struggling in math, uh, you can do much, much better, okay? Uh, the two things required to be uh, very good in mathematics is, one, you got to work hard at it, okay? So if you're not taking notes, you're not doing all the homework, etc., you got to start correcting that, okay? So work harder. The second thing you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to... Uh, leave a link to it in the description of this video will help you out tremendously also if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section something like the ged sat asvab uh, maybe a teacher certification exam i have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out if you homeschool have excellent middle and high school uh, homeschool math courses that can definitely help you out and if this video helps you out consider helping me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel but uh, with all that being said let's get in to this problem and we are talking basic algebra, stuff that you would even see at the pre-algebra level. All right, so how can we determine whether the point 314, okay, and this is what we would call an ordered pair. Remember, it's an XY point that you could plot on the XY uh, plane, a Cartesian plane here. So one way you could approach this is if you had graph paper, okay, you could actually graph this line if you uh, know how to graph this line, and hopefully you do know how to graph this line. But you could graph this line uh, on a nice uh, uh, sheet of graph paper, super accurate. And then you could plot this point, 314, and just look. You can be like, okay, one, two, three. Uh, is it on the line or is, you know, is it off the line, on the line? And you can answer the question that way. But that's not the approach we want. But if you were thinking in those terms, that's, that's good thinking, okay? Um, and uh, you know, should be thinking in those terms, but you want to be thinking more in algebraic terms, okay? So the key here is that we're trying to determine whether this point, and remember, a point that you can plot on an xy plane, we call this technically a ordered pair or a coordinate, okay? So we're looking at the coordinate, 3, 14. It's an ordered pair. It's a pair of numbers, and there's a specific order. The first number given is X, the second number given is Y, okay? So if you know how to plot these points and you've been working with linear equations in your algebra course, whatever math course you're taking, then that's what we need to know. All right, so let's talk about how to answer this question using algebra. And let's go ahead and do this now. Okay, so here is our graph. You don't even have to graph uh, this, but we'll just kind of uh, show you the graph um, uh, here y equals 4x plus 10. The y-intercept is at 10. Okay, hopefully you know that. And this has a slope of 4, which is going to be a positive slope and uh, fairly steep. So this could be something like a slope of 4. So this is may have somewhat representative of a line y equals 4x plus 10 uh, if you were to graph it. Okay, so how can we determine if this point 314 is on uh, this uh, particular line? Well, what is x? Well, x is uh, 3, and what is y in this point? y is 14. So what we can do is we can plug in for y this 14, okay, right there. But at the same time, we have to plug in this 3 for x right here, okay? If we plug in these values of a point, any point that is on this line will satisfy this equation. In other words, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side when I do all this math. So if you want to check to see 
of a particular point is on a line, just plug in uh, the respective uh, coordinates, okay, whatever uh, is right here, in this case it's 3, we'll plug that in for x, well, right here for y, that's 14, we'll plug these in in the y and the x spots, and then we're going to see whether the left-hand side, in fact, uh, equals the right-hand side, okay, the left-hand side, I'm sorry, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, if I misspoke, uh, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in 14 for y, Okay, equal to 4 times x, which is going to be 3. Okay, so then I'm going to plug that 3 in for x, plus 10. And you can see this is not going to work. So I'm going to get 14 is equal to 12 plus 10. Is 14 equal to 22? No, it's not. Okay, so because the left-hand side does not equal the right-hand side, this is not a true statement, meaning that this point is not on this line. Okay, so here it would be more like 1, 2, 3. Uh, 3, uh, 14 would be like maybe like way over here or something like that. Okay, now graphically, of course, if you had graph paper, you would see that, but you need to be able to justify these um, uh, uh, or do these type of problems algebraically. Okay, so you need to understand that coordinates that are on here, okay, uh, uh, satisfy this equation. Let's go ahead and make one up here real quick. Let's uh, check a point, and I'm going to make a point. Let's use uh, 2 for x. So what would be the uh, respective y coordinate for 2? Okay, here, I'll show you here for a second for this particular line. So the way we would get that to get our respective y coordinate is I would plug in 2 for x, so that would be 4 times 2 plus 10. So y is equal to uh, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 10. So y is equal to 18. Okay, so let's suppose this question is, is the point 218, is the point 218 on this line? Same question, but different point. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check that. We'll plug in 18 for y, okay, and uh, 2 for x. So that'll be 18. Is that equal to 4 times 2 plus 10? And look here, I got 18 is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 plus 10. 18 is equal to 18. That's a true statement, meaning that this point is on this line. Okay. All right. So linear equations is a huge topic in algebra, all levels of algebra. You need to know so much about, you have to be a total expert, let's just say, at graphing lines, uh, plotting points, finding the equations of the line, finding the slope of the line. This is a huge, huge part of learning algebra. So uh, don't take any of this lightly, okay? The better you, you, uh, you are at linear equations, the better off you're gonna be in other additional, more advanced algebra topics. So if this video helped you out, that's excellent. Uh, again, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. But if you need additional math help in all topics related to algebra or in mathematics, a uh, couple of suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel from basic math all the way through calculus. My math help program covers a wide range. My best um, help is going to be within my math help program. But if you want a pair of reference notes as well, I'll I, um, offer those. Uh, you can find the links to those in the description of this video. So anyways, those are some recommendations for you. And hopefully this video helped you out. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.